Now, cowpea farmers at Fungbisi in the Bosa South District of the Upper East Region have been introduced to new seed varieties and improved technology to help them increase production, which our correspondent, Albert Sori, has more. The Innovation Laboratory for Legume Systems Research is a project being implemented by the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in collaboration with the University of California, Riverside, USA. The objective of the project is to reach out to less empowered farmer groups in underprivileged communities and give them access to agricultural technologies and resources to help them increase their productivity. Dr. Francis Kusi is lead research scientist at the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute. Uh, there are some communities that serve as uh, food basket so far as agricultural production is concerned in, in Ghana. And because of where they are located, most technologies does not reach them. Most scientists don't take their research uh, to them. And so in doing their best, they still recycle their old practices, old varieties and other things. So it's on that, on that basis that today we say let's reach out to farmers in Fumbisi. Well, because of their location, you know, part of that is uh, are, are called overseas. They are far to reach. But these are farmers all over the Ghana, they, 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 there's a name tagged to them when it comes to rice production. Every year, you hear from BC, so far as rice production is concerned. But that is just one of the good things the farmers there are doing. 80 cowpea farmers selected from Fumbisi in the Busa South District of the Upper East Region attended a one-day workshop at the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute at Manga in the Binduri District to acquaint themselves with new technologies and improved seed varieties. We know cowpea as a, what, a poor, man's, poor man's meat as we always term it. It has high uh, protein content. But in addition to this, these varieties also are rich in high iron. They are iron-rich varieties that are also good for pregnant women and then and the babies, I mean children. So we are even looking for an opportunity to also collaborate with Ghana and the nutrition department of Ghana Health Services to see how we can incorporate some of these varieties into their program in preparing what, uh, food for the, the, the minority children and then the pregnant women, and one of them, the Wankai variety, but the taste is, is something different. It tastes very well. And these are the things that we want to push to farmers, I mean, for them to produce, to create more income for themselves. The farmers were excited about the new knowledge they acquired from the workshop. Some of them said they were eager to go back and apply the ideas on their various cowpea fields. Uh, I came here to learn a lot about uh, cowpea. Uh, when I came, it's told that uh, there's a lot of uh, cowpea I've seen. As I'm going back, I'll be able to use it and then uh, teach the rest of the farmers that I'm working with. I'm a farmer of cowpea, granules, maize. At my place, my crops, we have uh, this, uh, this thing, uh, the striker. But I've learned here that they said the Kekos Benga, when I plant it at my place, the, and the Wankai, I will no more get striker at my crops. For Joy News, Albert Sorry, reporting from Binduri. We have the latest in business coming up at the top of the hour. Up next, sports.